Well, all right then. Welcome to Owl Boy. Uh, now that our Oxygen Not Included series is dissipated, we're moving on to a new game. Uh, this one is by Deephead Studio, and it is very close to vaporware. As close as you can get for a game that actually exists. Um, we're going to just kind of let this prelude stuff pass by real quick. Um, so this game proudly advertises that it was nine years in the making, and it is very good. I've gotten through about an hour of this. We will go and do an entire run of this game front to back. Uh, we're getting introduced to our player character, Otis, and a teacher trainer of some description. Now, Otis is a mute, which is a nice excuse for a silent protagonist. You know, no problem there. Uh, his tutor kind of keeps talking to him as though he will respond. So, kind of silly on the, uh, the tutor's part. Um, he's also kind of demeaning of Otis, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, so, naturally, when you have a game called Owl Boy, you're going to have some degree of flying, some degree of bird-like behavior. So, we can fly around. Um, we have certain limits, so can't get all the way up there yet. Uh, some of that is just, you know, gameplay considered. That is not terrible flying. See, this is... This, we, we don't like this guy. You know, he's, he's made Otis all sad. Look at how sad Otis is. Um... I left the water jug on the ground. Well, it wasn't there a moment ago. Jug down. But of course, you can't just put things down, you throw them. Which, of course, he's not happy with. He will not forget this. And of course, he asks it, Otis if Otis understands. Otis is a mute. I mean, he can nod, so yeah, but whatever. Um. Let's see you fail me again and again and again. This guy is a jerk to Otis. You would not be surprised. All you need to do today is talk to the other villagers. Yeah, see, this is either just a nightmare, which sort of is stuff just popping in everywhere. It's yeah, this seems kind of nightmarish. Um, it's highly unlikely this is sort of some some sort of hazing ritual with surreal darkness to it. The truth about you. Are you sure you want to hear it? I mean, he's not deaf. You want to know truth? You mute. Wouldn't be able to tell anyone anyway. Yeah, this is total, like, nightmare scenario stuff. Why so nervous, Otis? Of course, you have every reason to be. Would you like to enumerate those reasons, just for our own clarification? No, because these are manifestations of anxiety. And manifestations of anxiety, having encountered several of them in my life, they tend not to be very, uh, very lucid in their explanation of things. Anyway, we're waking up now because it's a video game and that's how you start most of them. Oh, yes. I don't know how I'm actually going to handle the whole, like, dialogue thing. Like, dialogue and commentary, because we haven't played games yet that have dialogue. We haven't done those in Let's Play stuff. So, our tutor is waking us up. 
We are late for a thing. How many action adventures start this way? We just... Yeah. Take a drink. Oh, we healed up. We maybe overhealed. And, uh, let's head out. So welcome to Veli. This is Otis's hometown. It's a bunch of cliffs and ledges just kind of floating in the sky, which would be very inconvenient if everyone wasn't an owl that flies. About time, Otis. We will be keeping watch over Veli today. There have been pirates about lately. You know the drill. Report to me or the guards if you see anything suspicious. Any questions? No? He's a mute. Ah. <sighs> get to it. Big wings. Show off. Um, we're just gonna fly around for a bit. Get a little bits of money for going through those ring sequences. Higher is Veli Plaza, lower Otis's residence. It's nice to know Otis is important enough that he gets a sign for where he lives. There we go. What's this? Throw or consume? Oh, more health up. Big ol' carrot. Now there's something up here. We saw that jump from bush to bush. odd. Um, I don't think we can like dash in the air or anything. Not right now at least. There might be like an ability later on. Hello. Hey buddy. Hey man. Keep on watch today? Maybe you want to do something later? Otis and Getty, the unstoppable team. Maybe we should take that trip to Advent today. Let me know when you're done for the day. I'll be here fixing this can. Gotta be prepared for anything, right? I will warn you, I'm not going to be consistent on the voices or accents or anything. I've never done voice acting. I've never practiced it. I did like one improv class. Uh, this guy seems to have seen pirates over at the lookout point. There's a troublemaker around. Someone's stealing bongos. We're not stealing bongos. You might be stealing bongos. You seem vaguely hippie-ish. Mandolin's house. That's where you're not just playing a mandolin. Things mandolin likes. Fruit from their garden. Their musical instruments. Performing in front of a crowd. Oh, she's finished a new song. Might go out in town and perform it in front of a big audience. You know what? I appreciate the ambition. I applaud that. Uh, but we're gonna go deal with these pirates that apparently exist. Are these your bongos? That looks like a bongo. So we're just standing out at the lookout, looking out. Ah! Ooh. Got him good, Fib. Yeah, Bonacci. So, as I said, I played an hour of this game. I encountered this joke. I was upset. I was, like, deeply, personally upset that there was a math joke out of nowhere. Now that I know that one of the characters is named Mandolin and plays the Mandolin, I'm a little less offended by this. Um, Owls should be tough and fearless. Well, you know what? Takes all kinds. Doesn't everyone think... You don't say that to somebody. Like, these guys are jerks. Are you even a... He's flying. He's a real owl. Although probably it's the whole storyline, like, the whole background that, no, he's maybe not a real owl, and... Like, that's his, that's his deep, dark secret. 
And of course, Getty comes to your rescue because Getty's a good guy. They're just being childish. Hey, why don't I join you? I can help keep. I can help you keep watch. We'll show them. Just pick me up and let's go. So that's really the main gameplay mechanic in Owlboy. Um, you don't really do fighting so much as grab somebody who does. Uh, so we have Getty. We will. We have two more slots, so naturally we will be finding Alex and Neil later on. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, and Alex just becomes like sort of a shooter platformer thing. And you don't have to do a whole lot of platforming when you can just fly, but whatever. Who are you? What's wrong, Otis? Strix the students do something? Don't mind them. They're just trying to get you down. Just soak a bit in this hot spring. That'll make you feel better. Um, we have, we were turning red. Turning red is probably bad when it's, you know, from heat. Uh, which way are we going? I don't think we want to go this way. I think we want to head more of a downward way. Uh, here's the cannon that you're supposed to be doing stuff with, but I guess not. Ah, uh, hello. Um, uh, what's up, Solus? Going to patrol for pirates today. Why are you going to run around and see if you see anything? Oh, okay, they're, they're teasing this guy too. Okay, well, you're being jerks. Brat, we'll go with brats. I, I'm more on the jerk side. Um, that sounds weird out of context, but okay. Bonashi in favor of his classmates, her classmates? I can't tell the gender of owls. I don't have that sort of skill yet. Um, they have a stutter, so I can see why they're making fun of Solus. Um, because Fib and Bonacci are jerks, with jerk names. Uh, and things are happening. Right as Solus is saying they're not going to be a coward, things happened. Solus falls down. It's the troublemaker. Look at o look at Otis's eyes. Those are wide eyes. Uh, so Otis and Getty, we're gonna go chase that troublemaker with a gun. We're actually shooting it pretty consistently. We also shot a carrot. That's what our gun is good for. Troublemakers and carrots. Um, those would appear to be Tetris blocks in the background. Um, gonna pull this out because yeah I saw that and I was like that looks suspicious uh, getting a bit of money I don't know what we can spend that on yet um, don't actually think there's anything we can spend it on yet I also don't know if that's even where we want to be going. Oh, there's another one. We lost track of the Troublemaker, of course. Something to grab. Okay, that looks big and heavy. Let's not grab that. Um, let's see what's in here. Is this where the Troublemaker went? Oh, looks like. Otis, look, it's the Troublemaker. Let's get him. Your your defense is bongos. 
That's an interesting form of defense. Let's follow along. Oh, we have actual enemies now. But they are no match for Getty's gun. They are more of a match for Otis's skull, but not for Getty's gun. So there's Troublemaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just do this thing. And it opens up. And on we go. And now we have been reintroduced to the concept of buttons. In a platforming game, it's a necessary element. You know, of course, if you haven't played one before, you wouldn't really know what you're getting into with it. But nothing particularly special there. Nothing unusual. You just, like, poo out a rock. There we go. I mean, they gave us a rock and then there was a wall, so naturally you throw the rock at the wall. Um, we're not going to throw Getty at the wall. We maybe could have shot the wall, but... Oh well. We're kind of playing along with the expectations that they're setting for us. Nope. Not. Not the gun guy. Let's see. No, it's it's too strong. Oh, now we're actually going to need multiple. The way it was kind of stuttering there. Ah! Uh, watch out! Mortal danger! Otis, wake up! You have survived mortal danger. Please to He's a mute. Oh man, I didn't know the cave was this dangerous. Hang in there, buddy. I'm coming for you. You're not the hero though, so like we're gonna go save ourselves. Spin. Okay, can we, like, spin the other way, maybe? I don't know, I don't get the sense that this is the way it wants us to spin. Because we're spinning. There we go. To approach it from the other side. Now we get in, and there are weird markings and hieroglyphics. We don't know what any of this means yet. But we can spin against you and destroy you, or just stun and run away. Stunning and running also works. So we need to head up there, but we can't yet. Until we do this. Buttons. Then spin again. Use the vulnerability frames. And that door suspiciously closes. Oh, hello. There are spikes. That was easy. Um, we would have to do some like clever stuff with the the, uh, the spikes in the wall, knock it into them or something. But no, just eat on it. 
nice straightforward puzzle. You know, align the uh, the markers. And there's Getty. Phew. Yay, hurrah, whoopee, etc. I found you. I'm alive. And so are you. We're amazing. So calm down, Otis. This is no time to celebrate. We should probably get out of here before there's another collapse, huh? I like Otis's like affirmative grin. This actually, like, it looks like it has had nine solid years of work put into it. Just visually, it's very, very smooth, very lush. It's one of the main compliments that the game's received. Is that it just looks really good. Um, oh, we got to shoot you guys. Do we shoot this? Is there something in particular? Oh, I think shooting it would have done the job as well. Okay, you're still hanging out there. Oh. Okay, we uh, got a chest. That's cool. Not sure what we did for that, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. We, uh, we clip this button and set it off. Mmm. Yeah, it's one of these. So we can't both go. So we must go alone. Then... I don't know, find some way to get back and uh, get Getty off the button. Oh, okay. We accidentally got into a fight. So that's how you do that. Um, that's like the final boss in Zelda games, and you're doing it to us straight away. But, okay. We'll just, uh... We'll deal with that, I suppose. Uh, we're not gonna throw, we're gonna place. Then grab ourselves a Getty, and carry on. Sorry, Getty. We, uh, we spun and just threw him. Uh, there we go. Now, I, I know we, uh, we skipped over a lot of story stuff kind of in the, uh, the intro. Really, the story stuff of, of interest is... You're Otis, you're sort of a, uh, a loner, an odd, you know, the odd one out in your, your village. You kind of suck at being an owl, but that's probably because you're not really an owl, but we don't know yet. Hey, what did you find in here? Oh, we found a woe. Oh no, this can't be good. No, it's boss fight time. I mean, look at it. This is a boss room. That's a boss. Look at it doing its boss thing. Yeah. Let's just... There we go. Sorry, Getty. We should maybe, you know, use the correct buttons and not just spin to... It's been to toss Getty around all the time. Oh, you you fly now. 
Um. Oh, we don't we don't even need Getty, do we? It's nice to have. Just keep shooting. Keep shooting. Pretty straightforward first boss. Using the uh the shooting and the spin attack that you've learned so far. Hmm. I don't think we could shoot that down. But we can grab this mask and throw it, perhaps. Yeah, that did it. Giddy maybe should have like moved away for protection's sake, but oh well. Oh wow, what is that? It looks like an ancient owl relic. I've never seen one so pristine. I can almost feel the energy emits. But why is it here? I'm really curious about this artifact. I think we ought to bring a fragment of it to the professor. So he finds a perfectly pristine artifact, ancient artifact, mind you, and his first instinct is to chip a piece off. Good job, Giddy. Good job. Ah, gotcha. Ah. And we're, we're, okay. So the Troublemaker was a spider. A freaky spider? Yes, the Troublemaker is a spider, as indicated by the webs. Uh, we have to just swing back and forth. Couldn't spin. Uh, we can spin. Not Getty out. You saved our lives, Otis. That's my best buddy for you. Beep. Okay, before we get out of here, I'm just going to collect a tiny ship from that relic. Who knows what the professor might be able to learn from it. Hmm, this seems like a bad... It is a bad idea, Getty. Stop doing it. And he destroys the relic. Because don't do that. Don't do that thing. Anyway, inside of the relic was... Well, we're not sure. Getty's definitely not sure. Some kind of device with a button on it. Strange. If it's made by the owls, then it should be hundreds of years old. But it looks completely intact. I wonder what might happen if we press the button. So, an ancient mystical button shows up and your first instinct is to press. This is the guy whose first instinct was to destroy the relic. So, I don't think Getty should be trusted. Um, I mean, we'll take the, bu the button thing, but... I don't know. I don't think we trust Getty's judgment all that much. There we go. Ancient button thing. A strange device with a button. Seems to have been made by the ancient owls. Okay. Go ahead, Otis. Push the button. I'll just... Stay over here. Alright, let's push the button. Yeah, it teleports Getty around. This is incredible technology. The owls made stuff like this? Do it again! Let's just take a moment to enjoy Otis's face. Let's just take a moment. Okay, we're good. Also enjoy that face. Otis has a lot of good faces. Hello, we should probably get, we should get out of here while the cave is still holding. So we're headed back to the professor. That was a low bear. No, no. Okay. Um, I was worried the roof was going to collapse and it would be a load bearing bongo. You can't have load bearing bongos in this day and age. So, yep, that's one that we have to leave you on. But we can teleport you now. So problem solved.
to your buttons. It's got to be important if it takes two buttons. Oh man, I can get used to this teleporting business, Otis. I'll never have to walk again. Now, let's return to Rumble. Another tremor, but it seems to be coming from the outside. Quickly, Otis, let's check what's going on. There's, there's probably trouble afoot. Um, why is it dark all of a sudden? Is it not night? How long were we chasing that jerk? It should still be morning. Okay. What's going on? Well, well, there's a pirate ship. There's two pirate ships. I don't know if the pirate ships can turn it into night, but uh, those are probably a bit troublesome. Three pirate ships, four... There's plural pirate ships, is what we're getting to. That's a lot of pirate. So we're going to have to deal with that. Sky pirates. I haven't had time to fix our cannon yet. We're completely defenseless. Please take me with you. If we stick together, we'll be safer. If we get to the lab, we can warn Asio and the professor. They'll know what to do. And they will know what to do, and we'll find out later. Um, we're going to take this in you know, roughly half hour chunks like we do with the other games. And this seems like a good point to uh, stop for this video. So on our next episode, we'll be taking on those space, those sky pirates. Not space pirates, sky pirates. They don't have space technology yet. Just the sky. Um, we'll deal with them. We'll be meeting the professor. Maybe Marianne. Maybe Gilligan. Who knows? Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe doubly so. But either way, ta-ta for now.